I hung my shoes up many years ago. Looking back at all the teams I've been a part of and how I've contributed to the best of my ability. But it's not about that. Nor is it about the points I've scored or the way I left my high school jersey. It's about the new journey that I'm on. I don't know the destination and I don't know where it's going to take me, but I'm excited to get there. I can't wait for the experiences to come and I can't wait to learn and grow. I'm only 20 years old and every day I try to get better, try to make the people around me even better. And most importantly, I learn from my mistakes. This is a new path that I'm going to be on and a new journey you guys are going to witness. Starting in the first video with him, Talal. Little bro, somebody that I'm trying to help. Even though I hung up my kicks, I'm helping him tie his clockwork. Shooting. Something little bro struggles with. His little mechanics throw off his whole release. Whether he bends his knees inwards or he tilts his body and even sometimes after his release, his hand drifts to the side. After a few demonstrations, proper form and proper technique should be, little bro started to get a hang of it. He's starting to fix his mistakes. He's starting to plant his foot properly. I'm not saying that he makes every shot but at least now off of his release, he can dictate whether it's going in or whether it's going to be a miss. Then it allows him to make the proper adjustments that he needs. We even stop making him do that set shot and let him jump a little bit higher so he can shoot over taller defenders. Don't forget, he's only 14. So he's not going to really jump that high, but at least when he gets older, it'll be built in strength. I'm not the best dribbler in the world, but I do know a few things. From what I've learned is that dribbling's not in your hands. I only wish I knew that when I was younger. It's in your feet. It's all in your hips, and even most of all, sometimes your shoulder movement. It's all on angles and attacking certain spots. That's effective dribbling. I try to teach little bro this, try to show him that you don't rely on your hands and to rely on your feet because if you're flexible, you'll be really hard to guard. He's starting to get a hang of it and he's starting to learn. But one thing I admire him for is his creativity. The way he could put combos together and the way he thinks of it on the spot is really cool. Why's your head not up though? Ah. Bro, you know where the ball is. You don't got no hand up there. Could be around here. Look, a bed bug right there. <laughs> a bed bug right there. That's when I picked up a ball. Twelve to thirteen. And I just got shorts, we got shoes. Just put me in the shooting workouts and thing. I was in the person I am right now. Um, I had attitude. I was selfish. And Next stop, yeah, I learned through my hand. The things that I wanted didn't go my way, so I learned through the experience. And I'm looking forward to be a better person next year. Be a better player. That's what killers do. This little bro is no stranger to hard work. He really pushes himself every day and gives 110%, no matter how he's feeling or whatever the condition may be. He really focuses on his strengths, but more importantly, he focuses even harder on his weaknesses. He really wants to get better, so that's why he pushes himself so hard. A true warrior. Oh, you're a cheater. <laughs> 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 
Luigi. <laughs>